Hi, I'm a part-time eBay reseller on eBay and just want to show you guys what I picked up by the car boots. Okay, you get that, you get that, you get everything with it. It's all complete set. All complete set. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the bigger ones, isn't it? That yeah, you yeah. need uh, you need to register with to no, use. I don't yeah. Know, How much are your cameras there? Depends from five off upwards or five pound down, which all depends which ones, mate. It's all different. Um, this is not going to be in order, right? Because it's just in a bag. So we picked up Lord of the Rings. This is Merry in Rohan Armor Armor on Pony. Not bad condition. No idea on the worth, but as I edit a video, I'll have a look and put it on there. Micro machines from Star Wars. Sealed still. So yeah, there's the figures. Pikachu. This is from Pikachu WCT. So yeah, it's got the uh, Pokemon label on there. I think these, the Lord of the Rings and stuff like that was from the same seller as I got SimCity. This is for the Atari SD. I actually had an Atari SD 520. Was it 520? Um, so yeah, this sign there and obviously the person save files. Unfortunately, I can't play it because I don't have an Atari. Master Lock. Sealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My son is in Naruto, but I don't think he collects the cards. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right. How much is your chest set? Six, he's asking for. All right. Yeah, it's like a 150 quid, 200 quid yeah. fucking set. <laughs> um, I do have a lot for a car. I don't want those. I do want it to go in a lot. Uh, I don't know. It's very good for it. Third. 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 How much do you want for the cap? Pound for it, mate. Pound, yeah. How much do you reckon for this now? 20 each on them. There isn't any damage on them or anything. Did you get all your gold? Hmm? No, I didn't buy any. It's too expensive. That's two Cindy sets. Five for the pair. Five for the pair. Yeah, any other games? Um, where are they left? There should be two Xboxes. Count. Mm. Now this is cool, just needs a bit of good cleaning, but it's a Nintendo cap. Bit of uh, cat hair or something like that, but I guess if I give that a wipe it should come out good. But yeah, tags are Nintendo tags on there. I hope it's focused on there. No mate, it's filled, you can bend the box up and have a look inside, it's actually all filled inside still. How much of your camera lenses? 
How much are your camera lenses? Camera lenses. Three quid each. And both for father. Perfect. How much do you want for these? Adam. Um, what? still in there now. I've got a tub on the, on the thing now. The normal one and the muddy one. So all I've added was these figures, these tiny figures, and that Sim City. I've added Sim City and these tiny figures here. Well, that's one of them. Oh, okay, cheers. Um, Fifteen the lot. Uh, you said ten for these earlier. Yeah, these. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh no, I think I've got just about 13 there already. <laughs> we got a Tron figure still in the box. A Ace Tron grid limo. Spin Masters. Same person, I think it was uh, another Tron figure. This is the three man light jet. Spin Masters again. I think this is the last Tron figure. Looks like it was opened up here. But this is the one man light jet die cast. Oh, it's a full set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Did you fall? Uh, no, not at a minute because I know it'll go. I'll give you five. Okay, thank you. Got a mechanical keyboard. I think it has Bluetooth as well because it has an on off button at the bottom there. That's the back of it. But it does have an on off button. And it does have a B and G. I have no idea what they are for. I don't know if I'm going to. If I need a, one of them plug things for it. But if it's not Bluetooth, then I'm going to be a bit buggered. Tassima Orange, so I'm going to try that in a bit. I was supposed to try it earlier, but I didn't get a chance. How much are your cards? Uh, um, um, all three? Uh, no, three. Eight. Any more or just these? Just down here. Then we got three of these. Um, they are um, are they Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Not in the greatest condition, but I'll go through them because I did have last time a blue-eyed dragon that I got a good money out of it even though it had marks on the side but it was like from an early edition and these are the same these are from 1996 all of them or rather majority of them 1996 yeah yeah most of them are 1996 so quite old cards but I've got to go through them and maybe scan them and check them what they're worth for oh it's not a bad first round them Tron figures should sell Give a moment. Uh, Mr. Haxel, man. Oh, then we got a brand new, looks like paint art set. I quite like selling these brand new art sets, so 
anybody who has pallets of Amazon stock and you want me to shift it, let me know. Two Elmo figures from Sesame Street for £2.50. Get another extra 50 Now I do hope these are worth something. Um, they've still got the tags, Sesame Street. Quite clean. Not old, 2022. So, yeah. I'll bundle them together. How many have you got? They're not bad, they even got the um, Apple yeah. tag thing. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Then we bought, is it five? Yeah, five different, um, they're wallets. One of them is open, so I'll show you guys what it is. So yeah, it's a RFID wallet. Has an Apple, Apple tag area here. And then if you open it, you got space to put something in, in there, card ID, driving license, and then obviously some more cards here. And then, yeah, almost space there for another card. And then I would say a fair few cards can go in here. And then it's got that little eject here. So yeah, quite cool. And they're all new, so I'm gonna try and sell them all. Definitely, uh, obviously an Amazon item. Sorry, I'll just check through that box and then... It's the one that... Mm. Sorry, hands are too cold to pick up. <laughs> There we Thank are. You. Then we picked up this Power Rangers SP. It's like um, the arm. Still works. Yeah, got to check that out. How much do you want for these? These four. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> how much do you want for these? What? Uh, uh, the seat belt. Yeah. The seat yeah. All, four, all four. All four? Yeah. Uh, it's a set, isn't it? Technically, yeah. yeah. Five pounds. Five pounds. <sighs> Would you do four? Go on then. And we got these Opal racing style um, for the seat belts. Quite cool. I think four pounds, so nearly, what was it, one pound each, technically. Um, just got to give them a clean, but they definitely have something to it. How much are your ink cartridges? How much are Let's have a look. Oh, that's a one, yeah. Pound each. Pound each, yeah. Yes. You want all of them? Yeah, I'll take all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take the six. Okay, okay. No problem for that. You've got no 
Yeah, that's alright. Five. You're going to One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Hi, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, all right. right. And then we got loads of tree color ink. I think I paid a pound each for these. Um, I'm sure that these will be going for some crazy money. They are expired, but um, even expired ink are always sold for good money. Let's have a quick check while we're here. £17 onwards. Not bad. Um, not all of them are tree color. Some of them are black and black and white, uh, black color. So I think there is three color ones. And then we got three black ones. It's not bad. Six pounds or five pounds I paid for all of them, which is always money. Oh my god, the stormtrooper survived. So we've got little stormtrooper guy. One of them characters. And then we got Nautilus soldier. Don't know whether these are uh, part of Warhammer's, Star Wars related Warhammer stuff, but yeah, they're tiny, tiny figures. Got six there, yeah. We do five. We do five. And then we've got two Xbox controllers. Yeah, two Xbox controllers again. Got to test it. See if it's working. And then we've got PS controllers here. Two of them and two more pound each. I can uh, get more than that just in spares. Yeah. I'm just, it's trying to work out who will play it. Yeah. Why are these just waterproof cases? No, uh, uh, if you open it up. Thank you. So you put your keys in it. Oh, okay. It, it's sort of like you, you sort of make like uh, your keys into like a pen knife. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much are they? Yeah. Pound each. Pound each. Take one fifty for the two. Yeah. How much have you got on this? Huh? And this one? I don't even know what that is. It's a camera case. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I don't even know. <laughs> I was looking earlier thinking, what's that? Alright, we're on to the second bag. A ViewSonic HD webcam. Brand new, brand new in the box. Not obviously uh, anything big, but yeah, it is a HD quality webcam for laptops and PCs. 
that's the number VB Cam 001 and a case for digital cameras small ones I've had good success with the uh, branded lower pro ones so bought another one I think this is a perfect size for like um, the Sony cam cameras so yeah with it being new should be good value all right this is probably the the best the best deal that I had for the whole day all right it's the whole bag here by the way I paid 60p for the bag um, but our first bag we got loads of charges it, it looked like um, she was clearing stuff from a business or something our office that closed down but a couple of charges that I can see are worth a fair bit of money are these Apple chargers I've checked them out they're genuine um, I don't remember if I checked the voltages but one's the type C one which is obviously will be charging faster and one's the normal USB ones and let's have a quick look if there's anything else we've got a warp charger I've sold one of these before for $9.99 alone so that's another one we've got a QC3 charger that'll come in handy power delivery 20 watts Google Chrome charger we've got Jawbone charger and another warp charger and another power delivery charger always handy people always buying chargers chargers nowadays cost a lot of money if you think about it the iPhones don't come with chargers anymore right so if you don't want to spend the 20 pounds or something like that that uh, Apple charges you you might as well get it from me for 9.99 or something All right let me just get another box out so yeah I paid for the whole bag five pounds um, the video on it I'll play a short clip of it I'm having this bike back at the moment, mate. You're, you're looking. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you I'm, need I'm, everything. Uh, yeah, I'm just making the bundle together. Little box together, if you let me know how much you want for it. But it was crazy because there were so many people around that area. Um, on, on, on camera, I could only get probably my feet or something like that. But I had to be quick. And I had to grab it quick. Um, so we have a Mario Strikers Switch Battle League football wallpaper or something like that. We've got a Wii steering wheel that needs cleaning. We've got a Switch, it looks like a mobile dock. It's a hoary, hoary mobile dock. 
and we've got a switch controller, you know, where you put them side by side. Just remember, I paid five pounds for the whole contents of everything in that bag. We got a Nintendo power supply for a DS, I think. Another Nintendo DS power supply. Next base dash cam power plug. Micro USB cable. Another Nintendo DS power supply. Another Nintendo DS power supply. So there's four Nintendo DS power supplies. So work out how much that comes to. And then a couple more um, USB chargers for the DS. Or yeah, for the DS. Next bag. Now this is what I first seen. It's a TP-Link adapter for network. Um, it's the one that also supplies power over ethernet. So this one is a 100 megabits, four port, power over ethernet, plug, switch. They're called basically switch, power switch, managed switch. Um, I've sold one of them similar one, but it had, did not have power over ethernet for 19.99 or something like that, but that was boxed. But obviously this has got power over ethernet, so I should get a bit more. And then there was a box of, just a box of mouse. So we've got Dell, Logitech, an Amazon brand, and another mouse, and one Acer, and one more Logitech one. Some sort of Bluebird, a CIT mouse. Small HP mouse. Then we have a Sony power adapter. I've no idea what it goes to, but somebody will always need a certain type of power adapter. Another funky Amazon mouse. Some sort of gaming mouse, I guess it has LED on it. HP mouse. like just two um, sets of micro mini USB not micro mini USB cables a fan for the laptop to keep me cool in the shed in summertime um, this is a edupe love I've no idea if anybody knows what that is but it says on there edupe love that's it and then it has a USB plug. I guess I'll have to plug it and find out what it is. A Logitech 720p webcam. a this looks like a office uh, microphone headphone set I can't see any brands on it but quite handy for anybody who's working from home maybe it's something for Ajahn and Ajahn right when he works from home he can use that only joking AC Wi-Fi plug Always handy. Then we've got a SATA to USB adapter. I can use that, although I've got some of them. Star of the find. I found it at the end of the, in the, in the bag. Um, what's this here? It's an Elgato 
HD60S is to record like your gaming footage from PlayStation, Switch, or anything. Anything basically that has a HDMI, you can plug it into this, plug that, um, plug the Type C connection into your PC, and then you can use the software to actually record. I could use it, but um, I'm not good at games, so I'm not going to use it. And we have a 16 pack invitation for birthdays. So that's. Oh, I forgot. One more item Tesco cushion. Probably the best best find in the whole lot, right? Um, the Tesco cushion. So, yeah, that, the whole thing was five pounds. Crazy, isn't it? Charge, no, my granddaughter. No, I'm only kidding. How much are you looking for this? Sorry? How much are you looking for this? Oh yeah, that's really good. You can build a little thing. Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. Yeah. Uh, while, while I was getting my final bag, also managed to find my LED light. So this I used last year from uh, Energizer. You can probably get cheaper ones, but yeah. Um, it's good to find that again. So the last bag contains a DIY gamer kit. This is like, um, it has a Arduino Uno in it and all the components to make your own little mini gaming console. So yeah, that's brilliant. Um, I had something similar that I sold last year for like 30, 35, um, but that was a bigger bundle. It was not a gaming bundle. It was like a, um, like a whole kit where you can do electronics with the Arduino Uno. The Uno is like a small computer yeah, it's like a mini computer that you can program with the software that you can download. The words are not coming into my mouth, but there's a software that you can run on it. Oh, yeah. Ten pounds. Yeah, go but on. Not in this. Can I, I was gonna keep yeah, it. yeah, it's fine. I got a bag though. Or you got a bag? Uh, I'll just whack it in here. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I might as well help the man put the things in. Is this our generation? Mom, I think this is our generation. Oh, the other doll in here. Yeah. In the bag. Oh, that doll. Where's the doll? In the other bag. Is that the one? Yeah. She's got the wrong dress on, that's all. So they're all build the best stuff, aren't they? That's build there. Yeah. Oh, there's an LOL there as well. Do you want that one? Do you want all of no, this? No, no, no. Just the, uh, the build-a-bear. Build-a-bear clothing. Uh, they're all just bits, aren't they? Yeah, and which build-a-bear was it? Is it all of them or...? Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, £10. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And my bag's going to get full now. <sighs> right, then we found three build-a-bears. Does it have? So there was three builder bears. That's the last two. And then a bunch of clothes for this. Now I know builder bear accessories can go for good money. So I will probably just bundle all as one. I mean, I think I paid 10 pounds, was it? Yeah, I paid 10 pounds for the whole thing. And I should be able to get some money back. Well, I'll get loads of money back on it. How much you got on the Beyblade stuff? Uh, four. It's not the real one, is it? It's the, no, it's the, yeah. yeah. Will you take five for the lot? Yeah. Yeah. Then there was a stall, somebody had a bag of figures. And I've seen some Power Rangers in there, so I bought it. And these are really old ones. That is from 1996 Bandai, Blue Ranger, obviously no weapon. And, you know, a bit of cleaning up. He will look amazing. So we've got Blue, Blue, Blue Ranger. And we've got the White Ranger. And he twists his arm, I guess. 
That's freaky, isn't it? But yeah, the Y Ranger from the original series, 1995, needs a good cleaning up. Oh, I want to say SP, Power Rangers SP. And I, 2006. He reminds me of the SP Rangers. And then we got <coughs> the Green Ranger. 1996. Always love finding old Power Ranger stuff and, well, any old cartoon stuff, figures, TV series. And got the yellow ranger who's sprinting off. Actually, that looks quite cool. Um, yeah, this is the yellow ranger, Bandai 1996. Obviously, it's supposed to have weapons and stuff, but you know, you know, it'll be I'll be amazed if any kids actually kept any of their figures with their weapons. And the parents actually, if they managed to sell it, I would be well amazed. So that's that. I don't think there's anything else in there. It's a different one that goes in here, doesn't it? Four pounds for the lot then? You take yeah. three? Eh? No. No. Oh, go on then. Oh yeah. There is. So, pound each for the Sony navigation controllers. Um, I'm going to try and sell them. I think they're, are they for the VR? VR, you know, when you put the headset on, they should have some value to it. So yeah, Sony navigation controllers. We also found one of these. Now he wanted a pound each, a pound for this and I wanted two pound for this. You know, I don't know, but I did buy it. All right, this is the um, this is the gun for the VR. So the VR move controller goes in here, and then um, yeah, you can obviously you know what you know you know what to do. Also found a Furby for three ninety five. I've no idea. By the way, he has a ba massive battery leak or not, but a few Furbies I bought in the past were just corroded at the bottom to the point where, yeah, I just tossed it. Sometimes it's easy to clean them, sometimes it's not so easy to clean them, especially when it's fully damaged. I was quite surprised to find this bike mouse cool figure now he does have what seems to be a bit of a crack on his bum so he's leaking out from there movement's still fine I mean if somebody wants to display that front side it's perfectly fine um, from 1992 Only thing is, obviously, his face being marked up. So that's Biker Mouse. I just realised. That looks quite cool from the uh, artwork switch one. I might open that up and put it in my shed. Uh, too quick. Too quick. A um, couple more items. So, Beyblades. 
I'm a weakling on Beyblades. So I had to ask my son whether this was um, fake or original because there was a lot of blade blades today um, and some of them were, you know, like obvious Chinese ones. Um, I mean, not that this is not made in China, probably made in China, but they didn't have any of the branding. But I've opened these up and in the middle, and they all say Hasbro. Um, I've all got the marks that it's supposed to have. Uh, my son's done his looking on it. Um, but yeah, that's they obviously got all different, different names. But these are, as far as I can tell, the slightly older ones. So we've got one here, the blue one. And then we got another one here. And then we got this one here. Uh, Run in peace, I've no idea why. And then we got this guy here. Some of them have um, have even got metal pieces in the middle. They all come up apart into three different pieces. Um, some even into four. Some have this cool, you know, have little spikes that come out. Um, I'm sure if you if you watch Beyblades, you'll know what they are all about. Um, three for twenty five of ten poundage. Three for twenty five. Yes. These are bucks. I would have bought it if you had Jon Snow at least. Yeah, but I, I bought I sold it <laughs> You sold it already, yeah. I, I thought you would have. That was it on terms of pickup. So it wasn't it wasn't a massive pickup. Um I didn't do like a car car full of pickup. Um but I think they're quite good pickups. Um that I will be working my way through. Obviously, in terms of eBay, um I went to attended the eBay for business uh, business in Leicester. And during the time, I had a one-to-one -one with a eBay specialist. She went through my entire shop, told me what the things that I should be doing, what I'm doing good, what I'm doing bad, um, things to change. So I've literally gone to come home and literally delisted like 200 of my items. Just went, selected it all um, between a certain date range and just removed it, ended, ended the listing. I'm gonna start fresh, and at the moment I've got about 50 listing. I've already sold a few, so um, which I'm gonna parcel up. So this week we're looking at, at the moment, um, obviously remembering that I fully reset the whole shop, deleted everything off, and then I'm gonna relist them slowly in a new method. I'll make a separate video about that, uh, things that I've learned during the eBay show. So at the moment we've sold, um, I think it's 200, 230 pounds worth of stuff. So six items to go. Some of them obviously are from the beginning of the week that I already shipped. So we sold a Power Rangers Dino Charge Deluxe Petra Megazord. That was one of my pickups from the last car boot. Um, I'll put the link up here. Um, where are we in terms of pictures so yeah this guy here that's gone for 38 pounds and then we sold the puppet um, that was a red parrot puppet that's gone for 9.99 we've sold the moisture meter that was in a box 9.99 the angry bird star wars obi-wan that's gone for seven pounds. Vintage um, Super Tour goals and goalkeeper sticks, seven pound fifty. And we've also sold our last dollhouse bundle, which had been hanging around for no reason whatsoever. Because the other ones that I listed, I think there was like 10 or 12 sets that went like rapid fire. Um, but for some reason, even though this is a better one because it has an actual working, like, well, it's not working, it needs batteries. It has actually like a grandfather clock on it. So that's gone for fifteen pounds, and I'm surprised I had to drop the price on it. I mean, look at that. Uh, that's a set, and you know it's beautifully made. It's even got a tiny, tiny mirror. But let me just get a picture of the of the clock. So that's the clock. It's amazing, and. The watch part comes out like that, and then you can obviously replace the batteries on it. But never mind, it's gone. It's gone. 
Um, some of the other stuff that we've sold for the week. Um, don't know if I've made a video of them. So we've sold Super 2 player set for some reason. The buyer hasn't paid yet. I gave, you know, off, take, took the offer for $4.99. The lowest price I probably went to. Um, but yeah, they still haven't paid me for it. Um, Transformers Weaponizer Optimus Prime. That's gone for £12. And we've also sold, even though people were making me silly offers, we've also sold the Garmin set for £60. So that was a nice, nice profit on that. That was a bundle deal I bought from a person. And yeah, we sold some Sony Video Hired HMP tapes for £16.50. That That's the tapes used in the cameras. And we sold a BT Fashion Doll for 5 or 9 So not too bad in terms of sales. Obviously once, um, with the new things that I've obviously been told to do and to try um i said i'll make a separate video for that completely separate but this fresh start of me listing in a different way different method should improve my ebay shop vastly one thing that i will not do at the moment is categorize different things because mine's all over the place i'm going to use go with ebay category um, they did advise me to like make my own category, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have small amounts. I have like anything and everything. So I could really stay with eBay categories at the moment and just leave them on. But apart from that, it's been a full reset, full new way of doing it. But that's, that's, that's for another video. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Help me out here. I'm trying to get to my first 1000 subscribers. Um, Making these videos takes time, obviously recording it, you know, walking around on the car boots and then coming home and video, you know, editing the whole thing takes time. But if, if you know, if I don't want you to subscribe just for nothing, only subscribe to me if you actually want to watch and want to see what I pick up, want to see what I sell it for. So that, you know, if you're thinking about getting into reselling that you can do the similar stuff. Um, and obviously, you know, I do the same. I watch other people's video and, you know, if I see them picking up certain stuff at certain prices and they're making money out of it, I'll go, right, you know what? If I see that, I'm going to pick that up because I know it's selling. Right? It's learning from each other, each other's video. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll watch somebody else's video and obviously they, they might watch my video. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if this was in any way helpful. Um, but I'll see you on the next one um, sometime during the week. Middle, Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Um, I'll try and get a video out on the things I learned. Again, uh, main job is going to be a busy week. I've got loads of things happening this week uh, from Monday to all the way till Saturday. So I'll try and squeeze in the video. Right. Thank you. Don't forget. Keep hunting. Cheers. Bye.